Today is Tuesday, December 7th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's 30 degrees and cloudy here in Syracuse. I'm Bradley Hoppenstein. Here's what you need to know. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 has been detected in central New York. Oneida County has confirmed two cases of the variant. Statewide, there are 12 reported cases. Oneida County Ex Executive Anthony J. Pacente Jr. says, quote, Oneida County has confirmed with the New York State Health Department that we have two cases of COVID-19 that have tested positive for the Omicron variant. We are conducting a full investigation. The Syracuse University Department of Public Safety will conduct a test of the Orange Alert Campus Crisis Notification System at 3.25 p.m. on Thursday, December 9th. The test will include email, text, message, and voice call notifications. DPS will also be testing the Orange Alert Outdoor Siren System on North and South Campus. The Orange Alert System has been used two times since it was created. And Syracuse University will be operating under its Orange Appreciation Days format during winter break from December 23rd to December 31st. All academic and administrative buildings will be locked or closed, and building temperatures will be lowered to 60 seconds, 60 degrees, excuse me. Normal building occupancy schedules will resume on January 3rd. To file a request to access buildings over Orange Appreciation Days, submit a request to your building coordinator by 5 p.m. on December 15th. Coming up on News Live at 6, Syracuse University is requiring all students, faculty, and staff to receive a COVID-19 booster shot before returning for the spring 2022 semester. Citrus TV reporter Jake Morrell asked students how they feel about the new requirement. Till then, that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, check out our Citrus TV News Twitter. I'm Bradley Hoppenstein. Have a great evening.